Hi everyone, thank you for being here tonight. My name is Kayla. Um, I think we all like bars and the reason I like going to bars is because I can get to talk to different people, have different conversations. So I remember last time when I was here, a guy came to talk to me, then he looked at me from head to toe, then he said, oh, you're so small. <laughs> I was quite offended, to be honest, and um, I didn't think it was very polite, so I said to him, when I take it out, it's much bigger than yours. <laughs> Tiny Chinese girl, small, cute, obedient. Like I would kneel down and open my mouth if they asked me to. So, um, so they were always like, "Ah, you're so small. Ah, you're so cute." You know, I always make people make that sound. Ah. So I always, at that moment, I always like to come up to them and say, "Hey, what the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> so another weird conversation that I had was um, a guy, he asked me, where have you been out of China? And I said, I've been to Europe. And he said, why did you go to Europe? I said, what do you mean? Oh, well, obviously I went to Europe to sell my kidney. <laughs> you know, people all around the world they need kidneys, and Chinese people offer kidneys for them. Yeah, so I think that could be the only reason that could have worn my trip to Europe. <laughs> and um, I'm now using iPhone, so that's also where I got my iPhone from. <laughs> so two kidneys for one trip to Europe and uh, an iPhone, yeah, which is a quite fair deal. Um, anyway, I know lots of Chinese comedians like to talk about their Chinese parents for their being very pushing and um, they like to set up dates and marriages for their children. So my parents, when they were at work, they did a great job, but the one job that they are really bad at, they're really bad at being the pimps. <laughs> and um, they've never made it, you know, to arrange a man for me. So, and my mom, she likes to ask about every detail after I got back home from a date. Mm -hmm. So there was one time I came back home from a barbecue date, and my mom asked me, "How was the sausage?" <laughs> and I thought that was another question about the man that I dated. So I said, "Mom, if you really want to be a good thing." Then be a good pimp. I don't want breakfast sausage anymore. But I want a salami. So they never made it. They never made um, you know a successful date for me. So that's why I need to find my own date. I'm not sure if you know this word called zhengmongshengaocha in Chinese. So this word it translates to the cutest height difference. It means in a couple, if one person is much taller than another one, which is considered to be very cute. I'm very keen on this word. I think it's very cute as well. So that's why I've been looking for a man who is shorter than one meter tall. <laughs> so which is very difficult because they always grow taller the next year. And, um, you know, and um, when I take them out, I always end up getting called by the police the next day. So, yeah, so in case the police are after me again, I need to make my way out. Thank you for listening, my <laughs>